Well, we are following a situation right near Forest Hill Boulevard and Military Trail in Palm Beach County. There's another rally to show solidarity with the Cuban people. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro is there live right now. Josh, what's the latest? What are you seeing? Hey guys, well, the local Cuban community coming out again at this intersection. You can take a look behind me. There is a small group. A rally is supposed to be scheduled right now at 5 o'clock. We can also see that uh, Palm Beach County deputies have put barricades around over here and caution tape in anticipation for more people to come out to demonstrate, calling for change and calling also for the U.S. government to intervene. Many of the local Cubans I spoke to today say the Cuban government is continuing to use violence against protesters protesters on the island. The government responded by shutting down mobile data services by state-run phone monopoly and every little chance Cubans get uh, internet access. They're uploading videos and telling their loved ones here in the U.S. the horrifying accounts since the protest erupted on Sunday. So far, Cuban authorities reported one death and many uh, Cubans here in Palm Beach County fear there could be more as tensions escalate. Seventeen-year-olds from the military service are being sent to the streets to kill. Towns against towns, Cuban against Cubans. Help us, Marco Rubio. It's not food, not medicine, nothing. The whole country in Cuba, he waited for that. So, no, Cuba is not alone, you know. Back out here live, there have been a horns honking of passing by these uh, demonstrators. You can also see uh, people going against uh, the Cuban uh, president over there. We are learning today that uh, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio and Representative Carlos Jimenez are calling on President Biden to aid the protesters by making free satellite internet access available on the island. Now coming up at six, you will meet a woman who can barely communicate with her grandmother. We'll have her reaction and much more. That's coming up at six. For now, we're live in West Palm Beach. I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5.